Hey there, my name is Brittany Wong, and I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT's newest feature that came out literally minutes ago, and that is the schedule test feature. So this is going to let you schedule tasks, remind yourself about stuff. This is great. So there's two ways you can do it. One is to do it in the chat by itself. So to do that, you're going to click up here where it says ChatGPT 4.0 and change it to GPT 4.0 with scheduled tasks. And then you're going to say what you want, like hack my... Remind me to pack my toothbrush. And then you're going to say when? Well, at 12, 34 a.m. Eastern on 1.25. So then it's going to create a reminder or create a task. And it'll remind us of that. Now, the first time I did this, I had to click allow for desktop notifications. But now that I've done that, it happens automatically. A few things you can do with this. You can click on the three dots and edit it. So you can say, oh, actually, I need it to remind me to pack toothbrush and toothpaste. Uh, you can give it specific instructions on how you want to do it. And you can even repeat it so that daily it's reminding you, I don't know why, but it's a bag of toothbrush. And then you can also change the date and the time. Uh, additionally, you can delete it or pause it. The pausing would be really helpful if you have a task that you're doing maybe Monday through Friday. So then we have up here, there's a reminder. So this is assuming you're using ChatGPT while you're doing this. I don't see it coming up anywhere else right now, but perhaps it will later on. Next, let's go ahead and look at what it looks like to use this in a chat that you already have. So I'm going to go to this one. This is our weekly email one. I'm going to say, actually, first, I'm going to go up to the top. And this is the second way you do it. So the first way you do it in a new chat. The second way you go into a chat you already have. Change this from chat GPT 4.0 to GPT 4.0 with scheduled tasks. And then we're going to ask it to remind us. So remind me to send my weekly email every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern, starting this Monday, 1, I don't know what date. I'm going to say maybe Wednesday instead because I know what the date is for that. Let's just bring this Wednesday, 1, 15, 20. And then once we have that, we're going to press enter. And then here you're going to see it reminding and not only does it schedule that reminder, it also says weekly. So here, if we want to edit it, we can look and see weekly, Wednesdays, 2 p.m. Perfect. The instructions would be great if there's something specific you wanted to say. All right, so I want to note that I did put it to set me a reminder at 12.37 p.m. And then I put down chat GPT. And you can see it obviously didn't come up with any kind of reminder. And so that was 12.37 a.m. today. No reminder came up when I didn't have chat GPT up. So that is something to keep in note that it looks like you'll have to have ChatGPT up for it to remind you, but that might change in the future. All right, so now I have also done this on my phone. You basically will do the same thing on your phone instead of going here on your desktop. You schedule tasks, you'll just do the same thing on your phone where you click the top and then choose the one that you want. And I asked it to send an email, remind me to send an email to my list today at 12.39 a.m. Eastern. So schedule that reminder for me. And now we wait. Will it remind me? So we have about probably 15 seconds to go to try that out. And here we go. It just turned 1239. And I'm not seeing a reminder yet. So obviously there's still going to be, oh, you know what? It came up on here on my desktop. That's really interesting. So it didn't come up on my phone. If you'll be able to see that. But it did come up on my desktop. So something to keep in mind. It seems like there are probably still some glitches. But if you're using ChatGPT a lot, it seems to me like this would probably be best for people that maybe get distracted easily, have ADHD, and and are like working on something and forgot they wanted to do something else. For me personally, this would be really helpful. I sometimes will sit down to do something and think, okay, at this particular time, I need to go and do this other thing, and I just forget about it. So I think this could be really helpful for those of you who get distracted easily like me. And yeah, it, it seems like a great add-on. I do think it's still a little bit glitchy, but I mean, it's brand new, so of course. All right, so again, my name is Brittany Long. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more updates like this and other helpful tips on using AI automations, AI agents to grow your business, scale your business with the help of AI. Sometimes you don't know what you don't know, so if you're wondering all the ways that you can use AI, AI agents, AI automations to be able to move faster in your business without sacrificing quality, without working all the time. I have a free resource for you in the bottom. This is something I've been developing over the last two years, and I think you're going to love it. So it's called 120 Ways to Use AI Automations and Agents, and that link is straight below. Talk to you soon.